Hello guys, it's me again. And I just ran through all the bonus stages with all my remaining keys. And it was very, very terrible. Uh, I think I managed to do around 5 runs to get one chest. So that we would be on to around 20% to get at least one chest with Odin medals. I uh, don't know if that's worth it. Um, it's too much trouble, but I did two signs, so, so I can see if that it's manageable or not. And after I did all my runs, I just got to rank uh, 934. I'm um, I'm set up the 1k ranking, and that's what I wanted. That's what my goal. And I see the contribution you, you see here. It's 182k. It's very near 200k and there's my drops here you see them I had 450 coins good holding coins and I got 42 from drops from the, the chests and then there's my badges here uh, I did some math and posted on reddit and the blue is the one you need the most and I have a lot here there's 50k and um, I used some already uh, not many but have to use some because there's some deals that use it, uh, asking you to use fuse and 10 weapons so I use it traded for some hammers to complete the data so let's go to exchange boot to see what I what we can get with this number of badges you see here that's blue yellow and red I'll open my my guide here on Reddit. Just let me open this. Let me open Reddit here. Then let's just check if how many I did. I did some uh, maps just to see how many of each of the beds I needed to get the most important items at the event. And I remember that blue is around 50k and something and yellow was around 30k uh, I'm opening the, the document right now uh, and that's 30k for yellow 53.7 k for blue and uh, 18k for red so red, I have around around the uh, what get past the route that I needed. Yellow, I'm very close, and blue, I probably pass it. That's why I do account for the items already traded. I check here. Um, I'll try to to trade every the, one of the good items and see what is left. Let's start with Awakening Ember, the first one, the second one. They are very costly, but they are very good. Awakening Pearl, I want all the three. I really want to build some five star weapons because they they do go, they do give you some good status. They may not hit the, the best skills of the game. Uh, sometimes they have some average skills that you can be using, but it's just for status for me right now. I want to build at least three squads to be able to auto Traffic gate with any chain uh, I want to use, and let's go here. Uh, I don't really want this divine weapon to get gold. This would be just for the end. Silver, all three bucks. I don't want any bucks. Uh, I'll wait for stamina after I trade for all the hammers. First crossword. I want the four star one too. Oh, you see that I have already traded this one for the four star. All of the three star. Now let's go to Grace Word. And it's all the five star. All of the four star. My yellow is very low right now. All of the three star. Um, all of the bold ones here, they are blue. All of the three star tree. Let's go now to Steph. 
I'll do this five star. Four. Three. Um, that's it. Uh, I got all the good items. I can see here there's only stamina pots to claim. Two and one star off was all of that remained. And there's a stamina pot and there's the divine weapon secret code. I think I'll get this divine weapon secret code here because I have yellow and the stamina pot. Oh, the stamina pot was yellow. Let me treat for all I, I can. There's 21 here. I will still have to get some more yellow to get to the 9 remaining. And if I want to get the last to find a weapon secret gold, I want some more yellow too. So red, I still have some here. Maybe I can get some bucks that use red and blue, but I don't think there's any. Books are only for yellow and red. I don't think books are worth the, the, the effort. The, you can get some bucks just by doing side store per minute, and it's not bad costly. And as soon as the end event ends, then you may have time to do this. So that's it. Um, no, there's not many good things to trade right now. It's just some more yellow and I'm done with the event. I'll ask for this part of the event. And as, as soon as there's some space, I'll probably get some two star hammers here just for some more upgrades. Because there's nothing more of the blue for me. Okay. And now that we traded for a lot of items that we can go to the top. And go to the chest here. And now there will be a lot of items here. As you can see, there are 10 pages of items. Each page has less than 10 items, so I traded for around 10 items. If, the, if you trade for more, and it will keep showing 10 pages, but if I remember uh, in Japan, there's 10 pages, but if you have more than 10, you keep claiming this one here and it will show some more items that are not on the list for right now. And uh, to be honest, I won't be claiming these this items right now because that's just some strategy of mine. And you have to claim the, the, the items with the currency. You could wait a little, uh, a little more time, but I just want to do it here just so I could see what is left for me. But uh, as you can see, that's three, 13 days remaining for me to play these items. I believe we will get another great success reach up for fusion that we get here to equipment, you could read equipment. It will be some great success chance of riding just above this synthesized weapon. When the game started, uh, everyone had this uh, bonus reach up for more greater success, and that's also good because then when you when I get some rings to upgrade my Norn artifact. Let's go back here just to exchange with ones more. This bronze ring here. Uh, they, just one bronze ring is enough to upgrade Thread of Thirteen to level ten. You need just level ten so you can uh, show this artifact to Odin. And there is some misunderstanding here because the level six, six star uh, artifacts is le uh, level 40 to be tributed to Odin. But as you can see, that's one star artifact. In fact, it's strange because uh, this heritage is just some very hard item and the heritage is just one star. But uh, all items of one star heritage, the, their, level, their max level is 10. And that's because uh, that's why you just not need one bronze thing. One bronze thing is enough to level it to level 10. But if you have some uh, luck by using Wider Hing on greater success, you, just one Wider Hing on great success will make the Thread of Ferdinand reach level 10 as well. And because of it, you'll be saving here uh, 140 
uh, Odin Meadows. But if you don't hit the spot, you still have to purchase a second Iron Hingy, but as you can see, you can only trade it once. It's just one remain. And you have to either wait for next event and purchase another Iron Hingy, or just purchase the remaining wooden hints that you can get five. And with the five ones, keep fusing one by one till you see that you reach it level 10. And as you can see that you can do this just by using wooden ring because wooden ring five alone won't reach level 10. For people that don't want to trade for bronze ring, they will have to trade for one iron ring and maybe four wooden rings. Yeah. That will be enough to raise Thread of Fortune to level 10. And that's it. Uh, I still don't recommend people using Odin coins for anything other besides rings and Thread of Fortune unless you did manage to rank very high on the, this event and you have a lot of gold, even, gold coins left. And there may be Waken Amber, Divine Weapon, Tiki Gold is useless. Just don't do this. This may be if you trying to prepare for a new event that you want a lot of awakening embers. And let's go back here. And as a seem that the event did end, as people were afraid of it ending just because of the date showing here on notice. So that's good. Well, let's see. Uh, let's click here on limited adventures and you can see that's 21 hours more for the event event. And that's it, I'll try to keep my ranking on the 1k top and let's see what, what I will be getting with 1k. And just click on ranking rewards. And that's here. As you can see, that's 1k holding metal points. It's enough for me to get the artifact just with this ranking and the other points I have will be left to purchase most of the rings I can get here. I exchange boots and with uh, almost 500 I'll use to purchase uh, maybe one bronze and one iron or one iron and all of the woods. Okay, that's the best approach for me. Well that's it, uh, there's no thing more to do with this event. It's almost over finally because the farming is very tedious uh, it keep, there's way too many RNG involved if you can get to this limit to appear then if you can see it, there was some times I had to five times around the dungeon and no slime would appear so that was a little sad <laughs> and this event ended in based on how it was designed not many people were trying to do the red badge dungeon and I hope they change something and make it more balanced as people want to get other colors for badges as you see I have a lot of blue badges and I still have some but I use it a lot of them because of the best items it was all depending on the blue color okay um, that's it uh, I'll be closing if you haven't subscribed, please do and keep patient. Please, um, I'm still learning and English is not very fluent. Um, we'll keep trying to bring the best content to you and for all of future updates on Bokara Anatomy, stay close and subscribe. Closing.